Hello everyone, welcome to Game Tech UK and another Bus Sim video. You know I love creating Bus Sim content for this channel, absolutely love it. But one thing I have noticed about my own content is all of my Bus Sim videos are 30 minutes long. There's a lot of information in there getting lost because obviously I don't expect you all to watch every single minute of every single video. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to release a few very short uh, and sweet and straight to the point hints and tips videos for Bus Sim uh, ready in preparation for when you get it on the Xbox or the PlayStation. So if you are going to be buying it on the console in the next coming months don't forget to subscribe there's a playlist um, just up above of all my bus sim content which hopefully you'll find of interest um, but let's get on with the first hint and tip video for bus sim so I'm going to show you how to set up a profitable bus route with an employed driver um, that's going to be earning money whilst you're earning money as well. I've got a bus and a driver on all of these routes, right? So if I go to assign drivers, you will see that all of these drivers have got a route um, and a bus. So at the moment, if I was going to set up another route, I've got no driver spare and I've got no bus spare either. So what we need to do is employ a driver to be in the screen and buy a spare bus as well so let's go back to employees I haven't really found that it makes much difference which employee you can go to the most expensive one they have got funny descriptions um, you know sort of a, a little bit of a description about the person I don't know if it makes that much um, of a difference so we'll just go with Melanie um, so we'll um, we'll hire her for 600 um, euros a week so let's hire so if we come back to the route planner uh, and go back to assign driver you will now see that we've got Melanie with a dash so she hasn't got a route um, and there's no bus though right so we've done what stage one which is get the driver so next stage is to buy the bus now all I've been doing for this um, sort of employed driver um, situation is just buying the standard bus you can go more expensive but certainly towards the start of the game while you're grinding out all I've been doing is putting all of my drivers into the Sataro it's nice and cheap um, there's a good return on it um, so we're gonna go to the shop um, and we're going to buy one of them for 120,000 euros. Right, so we've got the employee and we've got the bus waiting to go. So what we need to do is set up a route. Now I'm going to set up a route um, that is currently in the campaign that I'm doing. So I've already done this first um, route, which funnily enough was my last video. So we're going to use drivers to generate an income on a route made with a maximum of nine stops. Now this, this process that I'm going to do will be the same whatever, whatever part of the campaign you're in. The, you know, the process of setting up the, the route employing a driver and getting a bus ready. So it wants us to do nine stops, starting at the main station. And let's set up a new route. And we'll call it, we'll call it nine stops. Okay, so the first one, um, let's, let's stop there. And you can see it appears up in the left there. And um, they want to do nine stops. So let's stop at the other main station as well. Um, and the next bit was the agricultural zone. Um, we've got two steps there. So this is the agricultural zone. Um, so if we come across there, that's three, four, uh, and five. So that's five stops, six, seven, eight, and nine. Now that is our route set up, so it's very, very easy. You can, and if you, if you, if you don't like the one that you've done, you can just click the X there, and it will take it straight out. So this is a route um, starting from the main station, going down there, uh, up into the agricultural zone, um, and into the industry zone. So that's nine stops. So if we click save. Um, there it is there right so at the moment you can see from the other um, the other icons there you know I've got one driver and one bus one driver and one bus and you can have more as well you can employ more um, drivers on the route but this one down here the one that we've just created has got no drivers and no buses so once you're happy with the route the next thing to do is to click assign driver now you'll notice down on the left there, Melanie has got a dash buyer, so she hasn't got a route at the moment. So if you click her once, um, she goes up to assign drivers. Same thing with the Sitaro, everything else has got routes on it, apart from this one we just purchased. So if you click that, it goes back up to back up there. So you know, at the moment, Melanie is assigned to drive this nine-stop route in the Sitaro K. Now there is one more step to do, and that is bottom right, you will see start trip. Now the idea of that is, is that you have to do the trip the first time to set a precedent, to set an example for Melanie. So that, that first time you do it, you want to drive as careful as possible, be on time as possible, and just do everything by the book, and Melanie will follow your example. So that is it everyone, just a very quick straight to the point video which will hopefully help you um, when it comes out on the PlayStation. So we've purchased a bus, we've employed um, an employee and we've set up a route and we're going to leave you to drive it. That is it everyone, have a lovely day and I'll see you in the next one.